happened on the beach at Bally Bally. I found him dreaming on the golden sand. Ever wondered how thermometers are made? In a foundry at Wealdstone, glassmakers work skillfully to make one of their most delicate products, thermometer tubing. Dipped in hot enamel to make the white back to the thermometer, and with a hole blown through it, the 15-pound blob of glass is rolled on a steel bench. This flattens the hole in the glass into an oval shape, needed later in the thermometer so that the mercury levels can be read easily. The blob of glass is now shaped and checked with calipers to ensure that a uniform thickness has been kept along the stretched glass. Only a second or two remains in which to pull out the glass even further into lengths of about five feet. Each of these lengths will later make over a hundred feet of thermometer tubing. the bulbs of the thermometers are formed by joining short lengths of special glass tubing onto the stems. The tubing is joined to a small bubble at one end of the stem and then sealed off to the correct length, a job which calls for deft manipulation by the women workers. Thermometer making has become an important industry in Britain, some three and a half million being produced every year, counting clinical thermometers alone. Heating the thermometer bulb over a glass flame drives out most of the air and creates a partial vacuum. When in a moment the unsealed end is inverted in mercury, the mercury is sucked up into the bore and the bulb. The mercury comes from Spain, Italy or Mexico and one pound of it will fill about 500 clinical thermometers. Calibrating the plane thermometers is done by dipping each one in a tank of water controlled at a fixed temperature. A cut is made on the glass of the new thermometer and this is repeated for a whole scale. A graduating machine is adjusted to the marks and a knife makes all the graduations through wax. Tests for accuracy have to be applied but the thermometers are ready now to be popped into millions of mouths throughout the world the handiest weapon in the fight for health.